Hey everyone. So this is quite exciting. This is going to be uh, hopefully my first of many um, vlogs. Um, I'm super excited to get started on this and I kind of thought that as many of you know at the minute I'm having some vocal issues. As you can hear I've got my talking voice but unfortunately my singing voice not so good right now. So I'm kind of on a little bit of vocal rest but I thought I'd do a sneaky little vlog, just a really short one, uh, to show you what I'm doing in the meantime. So because I can't sing and I can't rehearse, I thought instead of just sitting around feeling sorry for myself, I would learn something. So I decided that I was going to start upping my online game, or at least trying to anyway. So that kind of involves researching into like online branding and how to make my presence online a little bit better, how to give you guys a lot more content so it's not just dibs and dabs of music releases here and there or a music video but you guys are getting more of an insight into what's going on behind the scenes because sometimes I guess it can look a little bit quiet and a little bit sparse online every so often you guys worriedly message me and kind of go hello is anybody still alive out there? And I am alive behind the scenes things are generally happening but I don't let you guys in to see that so I thought it might be quite fun to start letting you guys in to see that. Uh, so basically what I've been doing in my my newly acquired free time is learning how to promote myself online because I'm really bad at promoting myself and I guess kind of all of us in some way are not good at that whole hey look at me um, kind of thing unless I guess you're a massive extrovert um, which I am not so I find promoting myself really difficult so it's like you know what let's buckle down I'm not doing anything else right now let's learn how to be good at this so I've been watching loads of tutorials, I've been reading tips and tricks on how to work social media, how to make good content, how to do vlogs, videos, the kind of gear that you need as well. The whole thing has been kind of mind boggling, but um, actually really exciting as well because I really like this kind of thing um, anyway. So it's really fun to get to kind of have a go at it um, and see where it takes me. So basically where I've started out is I decided let's start out easy let's not like freak myself out too much uh, so I decided to look into how to improve taking photographs for Instagram which I guess that seems like such a simple thing isn't it it's like pose vogue, and just get on with it and take a picture but it's not that simple and I was really surprised actually because the thing that I've started to discover is that you guys respond differently to different content good example was the other day, uh, it was World Goth Day, and I posted a picture um, that was from last year's Asylum taken by Brian Hurt, the steam tog. Um, it was a great photo and I loved it, but it kind of got lost in a bit of a gallery um, on Facebook. And I thought, it's World Goth Day, I feel a bit crap because of my voice, what can I do to post something up? So I found the picture out, I literally just made it black and white and then dumped it on Instagram and it got a really good reaction um it's nearly up to like 400 um reactions on it and there was loads of comments and I was like oh that was unusual um that was at least twice as many as what I normally get and I kind of did a little look back and I noticed that I posted a quite highly edited um photograph of Pennywise my uh, costume for Pennywise that I do and again that had like twice as many responses as my generally more casual I'm just sat in the back of the car taking a dumb selfie kind of picture and I thought it was really interesting so then when I started to look into this it was just kind of like I guess the more professional you look the more people are going to like it so I was like okay great but how do I make all my pictures look more professional because you look at these pictures on Instagram and everybody's flawless and you just sort of think they've got to have like hair makeup team they've got like lighting crews professional photographers and I found this amazing lady called Sorel Amor on YouTube and she has like none of that she just does it herself she's a minimalist and I was really blown away by her concept of advanced selfies so I was like right okay I'm gonna challenge myself let's try and make my photographs on Instagram into these advanced selfies here we are today uh, I decided that rather than go like dive in with a full costume and full makeup and hair and make it really difficult for myself and quite tiring as well because at the minute with my voice thing I'm really tired I thought you know what let's go right back to basics so as you can see there's no makeup my hair has been briefly brushed I'm wearing 
a scruffy t-shirt and I thought let's just start the basics because if I'm not comfortable with how I look without all of the other trappings on then I'm never going to be happy but if I can get good at taking pictures without any of that on first then when I start to incorporate these other things I'll be like oh this is fun I can do this with this and I can do this with this and I'll just build my own confidence with it yeah so here we go uh advanced selfie time We've taken the selfies now. Uh, I am going to run them through Photoshop a little bit because um, it's one of those wonderful days where I have spots, as I'm sure all of us are familiar with, and I don't want my spots on Instagram. Uh, so I'm going to do a little Photoshop magic with those. Uh, I'm not going to do too much editing. I'm literally just going to smooth out my weirdly coloured skin. Um, and then I might add a couple of colour gradings um, in Lightroom and then we shall see what they look like. And here we go! Here are the final selfies that I've chosen. I'm actually really pleased with them, so here they are. So thank you for coming along with me with this little um, mini adventure into how I can improve my social media presence. Um, hopefully it will grow from here um, and I think what will be really interesting is in like a year's time to come back to this point and just see how it's all changed, how I've improved, but I guess time will tell. If you've enjoyed watching me make a fool of myself, please, please, please uh, like and subscribe, press the little bell thing that will help make sure that you get alerted to all the videos that I release. Yeah, thanks for watching, um, see you next time.